Oh my gosh! How's it going, viewers? Super Sam Six I Seven here. Uh, I just looked on YouTube and I found that Marvel posted the uh, the trailer. I just can't get any words out right now. Um, but yeah, you just saw the Age of Ultron uh, teaser trailer, the official trailer. And it's the very first one. It came actually a little bit early. I was actually expecting it next month. But luckily, I saw it right when it came out. So, um, yeah, so right off the bat, uh, like, it gives this kind of, like, ominous-ish kind of tone. And you get to see all the old Avengers again. And, um, oh my gosh. And, uh, yeah, and, like, you hear, uh, you hear James Spader as, uh, as Ultron in the background, and he's talking, saying all these Ultron lines, which sound, like, completely evil, and work so well, they're, it's so seamless, and you see him in, like, some, like, beat-up Iron Man suit or whatever, talking about how all the Avengers are just puppets on strings, and then he crushes, like, War Machine or whatever. Whatever that was, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I, I, I just recorded this after, like, just a few times after I saw it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and and the whole trailer is very, very well shot. It looks like it's going to be a great movie. Uh, and the first time that I saw that uh, they were going to be adding... Um, uh, the Hulkbuster Iron Man suit back uh, months ago when they did that uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. special on TV. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope they do it right. I hope they make it like the comics where it's just like a suit over another Iron Man suit. I kind of hope they do that. And then in the trailer you get to see that the Hulkbuster armor is actually forming around the Iron Man armor. If you actually like look at it closely, you can see that there's regular Iron Man there and then the big, like, dome-like head of, uh, of Hulkbuster is just coming down over him. And it looks like whatever Ultron did to Hulk angered him so much that he's willing to fight his own teammates, so the Hulkbuster armor has to come out, and I think everyone's going to be excited that, <laughs> that he had to. Um, but yeah, like, going across, uh, the board, you can see that, uh, Thor is starting to look uh, a little bit beat up, um... You can really see that, uh, that, um, Hulk, not as Hulk, but, uh, Bruce Banner is, uh, he's looking like, I don't, I don't know, like, he just went through trauma or something? I don't know, it's really hard to tell. Um, but, like, the first time we see him, he has, like, a blanket over him, and he's, like, sitting there, like, with, like, a blank expression, just like, oh, um, and so I don't really know what to make of that. Um, but you also get to see him, like, wandering through a snowy forest, and then he falls over. Um, so maybe that has to do with that. Um, you don't see a whole lot of Hawkeye in this, but, uh, from what you do see, he's also running through another snowy forest, and there's, like, little explosions in the trees behind him. So I'm thinking, most likely, the little, like, the, the Ultron army is fighting him, and they're shooting, like, missiles, and they're missing, for some reason, and he's running, and they're exploding behind him. Um... That looks amazing. Um, Captain America also looks like he's getting a little bit beat up, but there's a part in the trailer where you can see Thor is kind of like lying down with like his hammer right next to him, and you see that Cap's shield is just underneath the hammer, but it's in what we can see is two pieces. It it's shattered. Um, whoa. Um, yeah, that's that's exciting. Uh, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, and the, the music for this, oh, perfect. Um, it really caught the essence of what they're trying to show here. Um, who else? Uh, Black Widow. Oh, we get to see a cool scene of her. She, like, there's like a, like a Quinjet flying, and then, like, the bay doors open, and she jumps out on a motorcycle, which looks really cool. Um, I don't know what that was all about, but I want to see more of that. Um... What else? Uh, we do get to see a little bit of Iron Man. We get to see a little bit of, besides the Hulkbuster, we do get to see a little bit of uh, his current suit. 
Uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be the Mark 43. Um, like, you know, like, just the next suit after the Mark 42. Although, the reasoning for why he made this suit has not yet been told. Um, but I kind of like how you hear James Spader talking uh, behind everything that's going on. And every once in a while you might hear, like, someone else, like you hear, uh, like, Tony Stark saying, um, like, this is the end of what I started a long time ago, and then Black Widow is saying, well, all things have to come to an end. Um, and then, uh, you know, it continues on with, uh, with Ultron speaking, and he just says, like, uh, like, he continues with the whole thing about, like, strings and everything, and he says, like, you want to change the world, or, like, you want to, like, protect the world, we don't want to change it. Um, and that kind of seems like, so maybe... The whole reason why he's here is because he has been programmed to protect the world. But the fact that he's saying you don't want to change it is saying that he has a different view of protecting the world. He thinks of it as to protect the world, you have to change it to be protected, most likely. And how he sees that that needs to be protected is that most likely the Avengers are in the way. So he has to eliminate them. Um, and we do get to see a shot from his back. At one point, like about halfway through it, and uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are with him. Um, they also have a couple cool scenes. Um, but yeah, so that behind scene looks oh, it looks really cool. Um, it looks like a like an evil like red and dark silver uh, Iron Man suit, and I think it looks awesome. Um, that's just what I want to see. Um, and yeah, but going back to uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, uh, one of their cool scenes is, like, you get to see, like, uh, like, Scarlet Witch, like, walking out of a building or whatever, and she has, like, like magic power in her hand, and she just kind of goes, like, BAM! And then, like, you just see, like, that little thing go. <laughs> um, well, the thing is that in the comics, uh, comic lovers will know that she has reality-altering abilities, and so... The, um, the thing that they are giving her in the movie is just that uh, she has, like, telekinesis and, like, telepathy and, like, you know, like, the ability to make energy, just, like, things like that. So just things that seem magical, just because, for some reason, they don't want to have reality-altering. Um, and so, yeah, so that was a really good shot of her. Um... That looks really cool. I want to see where that really comes into play because she just came out of something and just was like, bam! And then there's another scene of her where she's on her knees and she's like screaming. So it's like, well, what just happened? Uh, and that kind of reminded me of House of M. I, I don't know if anyone else got reminded of that, but in House of M, basically Scarlet Witch kind of went crazy and rewrote the entire universe. And that does kind of remind me of that. I don't know if they're going to do that. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, there's a cool scene of, uh, Quicksilver. Um, he only really gets one cool scene, though. Uh, and he's kind of, like, running through what almost looks like a, like a train or, like, a subway or something. And he's, like, running through, and you can see all, like, little wisps all around him. And he's like, whoa, um, like, whizzing right by Captain America. Um, and that, that looks, that looks awesome. Um, and, uh... Yeah, uh, there's, this, there's a little rumor going around that after this movie, they're going to go into, like, a big Civil War storyline. And after seeing this, uh, like, it, you can really see, like, the Avengers have divided. I mean, you get to see Thor, like, clench, uh, clench Tony Stark's throat and just kind of lift him up. So that kind of shows, like, okay, so maybe people are starting to pick sides. So some people aren't really agreeing with Tony Stark. Some people... Some people are. I'm hoping that Captain America doesn't, so that if they do the Civil War storyline, that works, because the original Civil War storyline was Captain America versus Iron Man. So, um, But yeah, so maybe this is evidence that they will be dividing and will start to fight each other. I mean, there's a rumor going around that at the end of the movie, Captain America is just going to say, goodbye, Tony Stark, I'm going to make my own team. And he goes off and makes his own team, uh, which is completely possible. But all I know is that, uh, as from what I can see here, they had their differences here. I mean, in Avengers, in the first Avengers movie, 
um, they had their differences, and they fought each other a few times, um, like, for instance, there's that big, like, Thor versus Hulk scene, um, it looks kind of like that scene, uh, all over again, um, except, I don't know what's gonna happen this time, uh, they might just say, yeah, we're gonna leave you, they might just say, okay, I'm sorry, let's, let's get together again, I don't know, um, but they're probably gonna fight it out, and then, most likely, as you can see, all those Ultron minions are gonna come out of the ground or whatever, and then they're gonna have to, you know, fight them. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to see Vision uh, in this trailer, and I am not 100% sure, but I'm like 90% sure that Vision's gonna be in this movie, especially because uh, Paul Bettany, who plays uh, who plays Jarvis, has another role in this movie, and so it just make a lot of sense if they just said that. Jarvis now has a body in the form of Vision, um, so yeah, I really want to see that. Uh, but yeah, the the trailer uh, finishes up with showing like Ultron's face, and he says like uh, he just finishes up the whole thing about strings by saying uh, like you know now I'm free, there are no strings on me. That's saying like you can't hold me back anymore. I am now my own person of my own free will, and I'm gonna do what I want, and I'm gonna stop you because you're getting in my way. Um, which is very much, very much like Ultron in the comics. So I'm really, really glad to see that and to, you know, hear James Spader say that. Uh, the only thing is, though, is that in the comics, uh, his mouth was permanently open, like, like that, kind of. Um, and he had, like, little, like, teeth things. Um, and then, like, light kind of glowed when he talked. And uh, in the trailer... Um, I watched, after watching it a couple of times, I realized that his mouth is actually moving. So, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I feel like that might take away from Ultron just a little bit, like, give him a little bit more, uh, personification. Um, but maybe they're, that, maybe that's what they're trying to go. Maybe they're trying to just say that they made a robot so advanced that they basically just made him a human. Um, maybe that's what... That's what they're trying to say. I don't know, but... Yeah, uh, Nick Fury is returning, of course. I mean, everyone could guess that. Um, but he's in his getup that we last saw him in, in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, still, like, with the sunglasses and the, and the beanie on. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so I'm sorry if this video was... Um, a little bit uh, chaotic on my part. I'm sorry. I I just watched the trailer a few times and I'm just like I'm recording. Um, so yeah. So there's no script or anything. I just went all off the top of my head. Um, yeah. So sorry about that. And sorry if the sound is a little bit messed up. Uh, couldn't get the the uh, microphone to completely work. So I just went with what I got. Um, I wanted to make this video really badly. Uh, yeah, but that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you liked me, feel free to subscribe. Uh, but that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.